Well, hello there, everybody. Good morning. I did not wake up at a Walmart today. I woke up about a quarter of a mile away in an apartment complex. I don't like sleeping in apartment complexes anymore. Last night, a couple of men were smoking and talking in a language I couldn't identify and leaning against my van. Smoke was coming in and I was worried at first that they were targeting me, but I don't think they were. I think they were finding the empty dark part of the parking lot and hanging out like me but it still was not pleasant. Anyway, so I headed over to the Walmart this morning, cooked myself a delicious breakfast of bacon and eggs, shelf-stable bacon and eggs in my van. Next up at 10 o'clock, I've got a tour of Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, which is something I've been looking forward to a long time. I'm gonna meet my dad there. So let's head on over. It's like half a mile away from this Walmart. <laughs> One moment. You're in normal Florida next to a mass produced hotel. And the next moment, you're in tiger habitat. Oh my gosh, here we go. Pulling onto a dirt road. Welcome to Big Cat. The only way to visit is by guided tour. Park here. Okay. Look at these signs in the parking lot. Two full-size Jaguars can be legally kept in a space this big for life, and we don't mean cars. Is it okay if I video? You certainly may take okay. videos. Hey, this is present day editing, Becky. I wasn't really sure how to frame this video since this facility is now super controversial for reasons that I don't even know because I haven't seen the documentary Tiger King on Netflix. The long story short is that the founder of this rescue has been accused of murdering her husband. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> I never met the founder. Um, I just volunteered there for a few months until the pandemic started. And then Tiger King came out. And everybody was asking me if the place where I volunteered was the same place in this documentary. Yes, it is. And also... I have no idea what anybody's talking about. I had a positive experience volunteering there. I still deeply respect the work that they do, and I see it as fundamentally legitimate. They are a world-class rescue facility, and the people who work there really care. I'll repeat one thing that I learned through my time there, which is that there are more tigers in captivity in the United States than there are left in the wild. And that ain't right. If people were willing to redirect resources from private ownership of big cats to conservation efforts for habitat, the world would be very different. Big Cat Rescue puts a lot of work into passing legislation that would outlaw things that shouldn't be going on. And you can learn more about it on their website the only thing is, it's depressing to learn what people do, and it's way less exciting than speculating about whether somebody's a murderer or not. <laughs> that being said, let's roll the tour footage. I have to stop this cub petting business where you go to facilities and you can pet them, because that is the largest cause of these cats to be in the bed. Many of these facilities will call themselves sanctuaries, but they breed or they trade or they sell. And um, many are cited, but eventually we ended up with uh, Nabisco. Two young women with the blue shirts, and they are interns. They are first level interns, and so they're working with the little cats, and they do everything from the outside. <laughs> so this is Duchess. So Duchess leads in here. When they chuff or press and they're blowing air through their nostrils and it's what they do when they welcome one another. So we don't call them over. And you know, as far as we're concerned and I'm concerned, it is just respect between them. Hey. <laughs> you see those marks behind her ears? Cats don't generally attack eyeball to eyeball and 
other predators might be fooled to thinking that's the front of the cat as opposed to the rear. But the other thought is that when the ears are up, she's got young following. Oh dear, I know. I'm not sure whether. Yeah, we'll leave her alone. She's another cat, as I say, that was confiscated. A sapphire came from the same place as Duchess and Jasmine. Look at her eyes right now. She's actually very crop eyes. White tigers. If you don't know, they're not rare, they're not endangered. There's no such thing as an endangered royal white Bengal tiger. But so the tigers that you see here in the States are related to one another. The question was, do the big cats have, are, have they, are they polydactyl? I don't know. I, their body structure is the same as a regular house cat. Behaviors are the same. So, possibly. <laughs> these cost hundreds of dollars. Yeah. So, you know, these are just teeth marks and claw marks. So we just keep them out here just to show people, uh, you know, what they can do. <laughs> now, many of these breeders will have them. They will actually file the teeth. He's got a blood sickle. So part of what we do is save the blood in the feed. He has and freeze it. And that's what he's finishing up. The shorter tail than the leopards, bigger head, he would be found in South America. And those spots or rosettes are slightly different. Often some of them have spots within them. And his way generally of killing the prey is by crushing the skull. They have a 1500 pound PSI. So it's a gator. But yes, yes. But according to the keepers, he's one of the most dangerous cats. He's very very quick. You know, when they're cleaning, they have to make sure that they know exactly where Manny is at all times, even though they're this time. We're going to give you an idea for them. You'd see him, he'd be all um, upset if there were fish around by where he was swimming. <laughs> He's scared of fish. Yeah. Priya, who lives over the other side, she sometimes, she's sometimes over there and they will splash one another. Oh, goodness. And that's it, folks. That's what it's like on a tour at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa. It was hugely rewarding to get to volunteer around these big cats, to back up tours, help in the gift shop, and just get to observe them and get to know them a little bit. And I was only there for a few months. I just like volunteering. And I knew when I left all the places where I volunteered in Chicago that I would end up volunteering at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa when I was living in my minivan. If you have any questions for me, I'm happy to answer them, leave a comment. Otherwise, we will return to our regularly scheduled van life content. Like and subscribe.